Uh, hello everyone. I am FTA. Oh, we're not booting into the game first. Hi, I'm Econos fan. <laughs> and we're here to um Read me verse. Read me verse. We're gonna mess around on a little game that Chris bought me for my birthday a little while ago. Oh, thank god it's the five year anniversary of Metroid Other M. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not playing that. No, we're here to play uh Bayonetta. Bayonetta Bayonetta One. Are you sure? Because that's the render from two. I'm pretty sure I put in the disc for one. Pretty sure you didn't. Oh, by the way, your Wii U's gonna kill or die. <laughs> <laughs> I hate those messages. Just let me play, I don't care. You can turn it on. I don't know how, Chris. You're, you're putting too much on me. You're expecting too much of me, okay? Yeah, this is two. Oh. Well, well that's so, not we're playing Bayonetta 2 for them! <laughs> so we'll miss the Eggman reference, but we'll get the better game. Even better. No data. This title auto saves like every other modern game on the planet, just tag, so you know. Tag Climax. Oh, there's co-op. Yeah, we're, we're, we're hitting up the story. On brand Tears of Blood. Okay. Sorry, mod. Uh, you'll probably want first Climax. Is that what you did? No. What did you do? I did second. Third? No. I'm not that good. I'm really bad at these games, but... Since you said the closest you played to this is Hyrule Warriors, you'll probably want first Climax. I can do second Climax. Okay, <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> now, unfortunately, we're we're watching this with my TV volume pretty down, so we can't hear anything that's going on. Yeah, you'll miss the Joe Pesci sound alike, unfortunately. Well, I'll just I'll just redo this next time then, by myself. Because this is one of the few worthwhile cutscenes, especially in this one, because I openly skip the cutscenes, especially in this game. Why? Just nonsense and trash, and Yu-Gi-Oh's in it for some reason. I don't Dan know. Green? No, like what? Are some guy walking around with it, like a money and puzzle look alike for some reason? Is this, Never is touched this, on. Is this Kingdom Hearts? I hope so. In the universe of Light and Dark, like what is this shit? That's that's the Kingdom Heart right there, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. That's Sailor Moon's pendant. Hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Welcome to Bayonetta Two, Gareth. <laughs> the two of them. It's the one Bayonetta and the two Bayonetta. Now, if one on uh, that's John, by the way. It's like oh. rival-ish. Oh, no, it's two. That's a different Bayonetta. So, from what I understand, her drip. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, you're playing the game now, son. Oh, okay. While the game tries to tell you something. Nobody knows. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, but isn't like her dress? Is like her hair? Yeah. So the more involved your attacks to get, the more of her hair is diverted to attacking and less to covering up her body. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense, I guess. A lot of nonsense! Ooh. I understand. Okay. So, what, what, where are we? Who um, are we? What the fuck am I doing? In the land before time, witches did something and something demons, angels, hell, heaven, blah blah blah. That's all you need to know. Like, hey. you're Bayonetta, you'll kill people. That's all the motivation you need. Right. So, <laughs> so was your first interaction with this... I'm in a giant mech now? Yeah. Cool. So was your first interaction with this, Bayon the, uh, you know, this game, Bayonetta 2, or did you did you play 1? Uh, I got the Xbox 360 version of Bayonetta 1, since I heard the PS3 version is crap. Yeah. So that was my first interaction with Bayonetta, and my first uh, Platinum game. But from, but from what I understand, the, the Wii U version of 1 does not have that issue? Is it, is that... Um, the Xbox 360 and Wii U versions are about equal. The Wii U version just has Nintendo costumes. Otherwise, I think people said technically the 360 version performs a little better, which is interesting. So it doesn't have the frame also, but does the Wii U frame rate is it as bad as the PS3 version? No, no, it's fine. The, the 360 version is the good version of the game, and the Wii version is pretty much that. Okay. So what is... Because, again, I have no idea what the fuck I am doing here. Yeah. What is the basic story of Bayonetta? Um... The first one or this one? It both. Okay, in the first one, you're Bayonetta. Uh, oh, I'm already. There's a Joe Pesci dude. There's the guy who has the gates of hell, Rodan. Uh, Rodan? 
Rodan. Um, I mean, is Gamma there as well? No, he just, uh, you know, it's really interesting. <laughs> we first met at a coffee shop. <laughs> uh, anyway, the interesting part is that but she paid for my dinner, so I married her. So how your sex life? So I, I can't tell you. How's your sex life? So I don't know, like, you meet this little girl, and it turns out it's Bayonetta from the, the past, or and some guy who's bad, and I don't give a fuck. And in this game, John, who's your rival wish from the first game, gets captured. And so your motivation is to go save her. And then there's a whole bunch of shit I don't care about. I'm in it for the gameplay, not the story. Okay. In your opinion, did um, 2 improve? Yes. On 1? Yeah, there's... Uh, no one 1 had a lot of things like quick time events during cutscenes that would kill you. Uh -huh. Stupid the stupid shit no one likes. There were some enemy types that were ridiculously hard and everyone agrees is pretty uh, lame. This game fixes both of those issues. Which pretty much makes it a perfect like game of its genre. Oh, cool. Aside from the horrible story, like the cutscenes are fun to watch when it's stuff like this. When it's people talking about like all kinds of stuff you don't care about because the story's bad, then it's. <laughs> um. Also, her hair. She got a haircut in this game. That's nice. <laughs> Does that mean that now she can't use as much of her dress if her hair's cut? Nah. We were in the past just now. Yeah. That's the evil dude from the first game. Is that the Joker? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Things are happening. I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so do you think most people who bought this for the Wii U, and because you know they very graciously included one for free, do you think most people started with one or went straight to this one? I'd say... 90% of the people who bought two already played one on a different platform and just wanted two. And gotcha. since it was Wii U exclusive, you know, you had to get it. And I'd say there's some people who are like, I don't know what the fuck this is, so I'll start with one. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but I apparently can't read this properly and put in two. Were you surprised when this became a Wii U exclusive? Because you wouldn't really expect the Wii U to have this type of game like this type I wouldn't expect an exclusive Reggie fils to come out and be like yeah Bayonetta the 2 on the Wii U exclusive exclusive yeah yeah it was interesting um, it was surprising but I like that Nintendo is doing that mm -hmm. aka taking risks on games that are not going to make back their money <laughs> <laughs> so again so this one what was a Sega um, joint Sega yeah and joint. this one is 2 but it's more of a stamp of approval kind of thing which one was so I, that, that was the thing I just did, the prologue, right? Mm-hmm. I guess it's a bit from the records of time the end. All right. Maybe. Maybe it goes to the right. And that's Yu-Gi-Oh dude, he's picking up his trap card. Okay. So it's so that something tells me I may have just went back to what you just did. Yeah, maybe. Alright. If so, I'll exit out. But um to go back to what we were talking about, so the first one was like Sega did it. Um, they put a stamp of approval on it. Well, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, the first one. The first one was a new Sega IP, yes, or like did they fronted the money for it? I think both, something like that. Yeah. Okay, you wanna? No, skip this crap. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm redoing the first level again. But so um, hit, hit hit pause again. Oh. It should eventually give you the option. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure once I get the plane again, it'll do that. But um, I guess, so did the first one sell well? The Bayonetta one sell well? It's one of the best-selling Platinum games. I think it sold at least a million copies, which I guess is fine for Sega, but not good enough. Uh, well, that sells more than the average Sonic game does, and they keep you know making them. Anymore. Like, Generations was one of the recent million sellers, right? Well, and the Colors, Colors, Colors was two. Colors um, Transformed. And then not Lost World, and that's where it, we've been in a rut, right? Yeah, if one, if one I understand, Lost, Lost World total was like seven hundred thousand last we heard. Yeah, Lost World and boom, neither of those broke a million. Yeah, we're gonna put out another one. <laughs> <laughs> but so, I guess kind of like Shenmue Three, Sega just like, yeah, I guess you can make another one if you want. If you're like, stupid, if you're buying, yeah. <laughs> So do you think so? How old did Bayonetta two sell? Obviously, uh, because this one is, is a multi-platform. I probably not as well as they never really said. Like Nintendo, 
they don't often give sales numbers to just be like, oh, wow, this is doing really well. This is at the top of our digital charts. And that's all you ever hear. Sega! That's so cool. It's like, I'd say if I had to guess, two to three hundred thousand copies, honestly. Like, I have had a negative outlook of Wii U sales ever since I found out only half of Wii U owners bought Mario Kart 8. Oh, yeah. Which is a pretty good attach rate, but that seems like the one game more people would have. Well, I'm sure it's much higher for something like Smash. Uh, I think Mario Kart was higher, actually. Really? Yeah. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna... This I... New York! New York! Not just that, but like, these, these graphics are pretty, 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 pretty you not know, that great. <laughs> It looks a lot better when you're fighting in motion. It's more of the attack effects and the, how flashy everything is in battle that looks impressive. This stuff is kind of take it or leave it. These textures are pretty weak. Yeah. The cutscene's fun, though. It's basically just this Joe Pesci wannabe getting shit on the entire time. Which is awesome. Am I clouded to you? <laughs> is it actually voiced by Joe Pesci? No, no it's, it's it's some guy doing an impression. Uh, Joe Pesci's dead, right? I don't think so. Really? Are you are you trying to tell me Joe Pesci's dead? Are you trying to tell me that criminal extraordinaire Harry from, from the Wet Bandits has passed on? It was someone from Home Alone. And it wasn't Macaulay when Kako cocked. Joe Pesci. Maybe he's still around. I don't know. I haven't heard anything about him for a long time. Maybe he just stopped acting. So is, is, he stopped acting alive. Is this <laughs> is this dress no, better? He's coming? alive. He's alive. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is this dress powered by her hair or just her black like powered armor suit? You were asking Bayonetta lore questions that I do not know. You played these games. I haven't. I didn't pay attention to the story. Why would you go out in at Christmas time if it's you know cold? With no leggings on. She's a witch. That's what she wants. No, what, what? Was that woman a witch? No, Bayonetta's a witch. No, but I wasn't wants. talking to Bayonetta. I was talking about the one that he was just staring at. Damn it, Chris! Pay attention to the screen! Oh, well, that character doesn't matter. Okay. These are the only two that matter. And even then, Enzo, the dude, barely matters. Okay. He's just here to make you laugh a little. Then he disappears. This, um, this, this game's already had some bad language. This is a naughty game. There's, there's been bad language, violence, and, and, and themes of a sexual nature. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to play this game, Chris. Hey, it's John. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> there's an even better moment coming up involving a jet plane. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Fuck you, Enzo. <laughs> Piece of shit. That's <laughs> kind funny. Double fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and if you see anyone saying Cereza, that's Bayonetta's, like, real name ish. Okay. Yeah. Go home and be a family man. Forget about it! <laughs> so. Uh, fan reaction to this, uh, as good as one, not as much as one. Uh, everything I've seen, ever at least as good as, but most people say it's definitely better. I because I know you. It fixes those few. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, yeah. It fixes that stuff. But like in terms of like like level design, bosses, as up, you know. As good. As okay. Good. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Like being at the one is pretty universally seen as gameplay wise, like a fantastic like top of the line. Entry in this oh, genre. genre. Gotcha. Yeah. What genre, shining example. what genre so this would this game, be? Like hack and slash? Uh, um, I think now the term going around is stylish character action game. Fuck since, off. Since, That's the, people, since there's all the flashy shit going on. People say stylish action. Was it? Not people, the developers. Stylish character action game. Stylish character action game. Yes, or at least I a like stylish it. action game. I want to go into GameStop. I'm going to help you. Yes, I have a stylish character action game, please. Well, we got Style Savvy for Nintendo 3DS. We have a Bayonetta 1 and 2. We have a... <laughs> this guy fucking sucks. Like, it's Christmas Eve. Better go Christmas shopping. For yeah, kids. kids. <laughs> <laughs> he has kids? Yeah. With Bayonetta? No, unfortunately not. She a witch, right? She gets a little witchy. 
She get arrested for doing that in New York. I'm sorry. That's just, that's just, that breaks that breaks the believability of, of this game. Uh, everyone in New York can't drive, so it, you know, she's just kind of accepted, I guess. Hey, I'm driving here. Um. Hey, I'm stuck in traffic yeah. here. <laughs> hey, I'm a statue here. I want a toy jet. That's hilarious. Um. Kind with wings, flies in the sky. What are you stupid? You fucking stupid! <laughs> What do you um, think the two and being there two stands for? <laughs> Idiot! Um. Fuck, I forgot what I was gonna say then. Oh well, gonna be an important question. Oh yeah, I know. Um, did you ever see the, um, after one came out, there was that, um, the Animu, the Animu movie they made? Oh, the video? yeah, I never watched it. Okay. I have no interest in the story of Bayonetta, so watching something where I can't play about Bayonetta does not interest me. So, Unless it's about this guy, and I don't think, I doubt he's in it. <laughs> so. <laughs> what the fuck? So the so the the character so you play this game more so, so if, if it was a different character in it say it wasn't Bayonetta say it was it was a guy if it was a Wesker Rock too still skin. yeah I still play it wouldn't yeah. matter you know I try to avoid doing this in my Sunday best what, the, what? <laughs> she just kicked the fucking what you're here to play by the way okay about about time I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> There might be a tutorial here, I forget. I'm sure there's something. So I'm gonna chow. See you pop up. I want I want Chow to be the, the, the um, tutorial person in every single game ever made ever now. Please stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I have um uh, uh. I have become um, desensitized to characters being cool by spinning in slow motion. I like becoming naked. Yeah, although I will never be desensitized to that. But um, <laughs> but like you know the notion of like this character is awesome and badass because they you know it's slow motion and they spinning around like uh, swords and shit like that. That happens so many times in games now. The thing with this genre is that most of the time you okay. I mean aside from this. This is a bad time to say it, but you do, you, you can pull off most of what you see in the cutscenes. Maybe not exactly, but you can be as cool as in the cutscenes for the most part. Okay. In some games, you are core in gameplay than the flashy cutscenes. Which is one of the appealing things about the genre, aside from deep combos I'll never be able to pull off. <laughs> yeah, this is a much more exciting intro than the first game. In the first game, you're kind of in a graveyard, and it's just, eh, not a fun intro. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, we're like 10 minutes into this and all I can tell is that this game probably just revels in its gratuitousness in every way, shape and form. Yeah, more or less.